Alright guys, what is up? This is your girl, Bofina1, bringing you guys another YouTube video. So today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about the new vlogging camera that I have. This is the Samsung MV800. This is the camera that I had, I had mentioned in quite a few of my tweets and also in quite a few of you know my videos previously um, about me getting a new vlogging camera. And so I got this camera off of eBay. It was used. Um, in the description, it said slightly used, but that's not really a big issue. It was used for about 100 bucks. And I also got the warranty for the Square Trade, a two year warranty. So basically, for those who don't know, Square Trade is kind of like this new warranty thing. I guess eBay's kind of partnered with them. And basically, when you know there are used products out there, you can get this warranty. And basically, if it breaks or whatever happens to it, you can ship it into them. You can have them, they'll either replace it for you or they'll, you know, try to fix the part or whatever is wrong with it. So. Some of the specs on this camera, um, or just some of the features on it, um, as I mentioned before, I really wanted was a flip screen. So basically, the flip-up screen allows me to be able to see myself as I am, you know, vlogging, talking, whatever, as well as, you know, it can go backwards. There's quite a few good features on here. It's HD, it's 720p, was well, actually a higher resolution. I think it's like 1280 times 720 so it's a higher resolution of 720p, which is still HD. It shoots in 30 frames per second, 4 gigabytes of memory. It comes with a charger, and the charger is not one like with the camera that I'm recording with now where you take the battery out and you charge it up, you plug it into um, a socket and then you charge it like that. This one you actually have to charge it up to a computer, so like a USB, some sort of USB of, of some sort and this camera is great the zoom on it is awesome as you can see as I turn it on the zoom is great and then you have right here this is the button for you to zoom in so as you move it as I'm zooming back and then you can also zoom in closer and as you see the camera lens moves out so it has a pretty good zoom on it as well as picture wise you can see kind of the quality picture of it. It's pretty good. And the feature that I like, as I've said before, is the flip up. So you can flip it up and you are able to see yourself. You're able to see yourself recording. There is a button on the back that allows you to click on it. So let's say you turn your camera on and you click on it. You click on this to start recording. It'll immediately start recording as well as you can also click on the screen there and there is a there you can also click on the screen there and there's also a little play button I'm in I'm in the movie recording section but there's other section that you can also go into some other good features about this camera is you can do you can have little things where you can go back to the home section and you can record in smart audio smart movie uh, 3d you can have silly faces you can you know right there where it says funny faces you can change the background so basically basically I mean not that I would do this but basically let's say you're in a place that's super hot and it never rains and you're like oh yeah you know it's raining here guys you can make the background you know look like it's raining even though it's it's really not so it, it's it's pretty cool um, you can change you know the zoom make a portrait you can make stuff wallpapers photo editor all that and in terms of the battery life, it's pretty good. I mean, it's not it's not the bomb.com, but it's definitely, you know, it's decent for you to make videos. It's enough to take pictures. The pictures are actually pretty good, surprisingly. The flash is right here. So there's a flash as well as you can use the flash when you are recording videos, which I absolutely love. Um, the sound, the audio is pretty good. At first, it seemed a little shaky, a little weird, but as I kept using it, it got better and better and better. And and it's it's an overall really good camera. It's it's in your it fits in your pocket, so I mean you can. I have a little case with it that I can like kind of clamp in, clamp it in. But I mean overall, it's small enough where it can fit in your pocket, fit in your purse. I mean you can walk around with this. You can take this in places and not worry about oh you know it's too big or you know. It, I mean it's just it's a really good overall, especially starting out camera. It comes also with a little like hook thing to hook around, you know your hand, your wrist. And I know some people may say, oh, you know, it's not 1080p, it's not the best camera on the market, it's not G7X, but the thing is, if you're looking to start vlogging and you're not 100% sure if this is what you want to do, but you don't want to break your, your, you know, your pocket, you don't want to break money, you don't want to, you don't want to just spend a whole bunch of money on something that you don't even know if you like, this is literally the perfect camera. I know some people have suggested the Panasonic. Me, person, the Panasonic is not that good. It doesn't have great quality, it does not have great sound. This has very, a very good picture, as well as it also 
has very good sound. It renders up to 30 frames per second. I can also render it higher even to 60 frames per second. And I mean, it's just, it's very smooth. It really, really shows your features. I mean, just, just, it like, it kind of zooms in on certain aspects so let's say you're talking in the light i mean it, it enhances the light it zooms in on that light and it makes you look better as a whole and that's what you want when you want to record you want people to see you know things really clearly you want it to be quality you want people to feel like you know they're actually there with you and that's what how i feel when i play these videos back as well as i also get a chance to show you guys in the vlog that i'll be putting up soon of um of you know me vlogging with this camera so you guys can also see for yourself but overall i mean it's a pretty good camera the price is right it's a hundred dollars i got a hundred dollars used it's probably 120 ish or so new you can get the warranty get it off of ebay it's relatively cheap and you know i mean it's, it's a good starting vlog camera you know you, you don't want to go out there and spend a whole bunch of money on something that you don't even know so this is a great camera that allows me to be able to you know see if i like it or not and i can see myself it has the flip up most most cameras that are vlogging cameras that are flip up cost way more than a hundred dollars so i mean besides the panasonic i forgot what number it is this is literally probably like the best camera that you know you would probably get for the price that it has that it is so overall in terms of a scale from like 1 to 10 I would have to give this camera easily for its price range and also for it to be Samsung so you know that it's a pretty good quality camera because it's Samsung and for the price range and for it to be a flip slash vlogging camera to have all these I mean special features that other cameras don't have I would say that I would give this camera easily a 9 out of 10 or 9.5. The only thing that I would probably take off is just the battery life is not that great. It doesn't really last that long. It could be because it's, you know, I got it used, but for the most part, the battery is kind of short. Um, the camera that I'm recording with now, battery life is longer. Obviously, it's a Canon, so the quality of the camera is going to be better just in general. But overall, I would say that this Samsung MV800 is definitely a must get, especially if you're looking to start out. Not if you're trying to make, you know, 1080p or... 4k you know quality videos no if you're trying to start out and you want to see if you like vlogging this is literally the perfect camera to pick up you know there's deals going on right now on ebay they're selling them relatively cheap in the stores you can order them this is an all-around good camera i i enjoy it it's light it's not heavy you know it, it fits in your pocket it's good for quality has great sound has great zoom in zoom out and it's a starter camera, so you know I mean you have to start somewhere, and this is definitely the the right camera to start for. Um, it, it's just everything about it I think is just good. It's it just it is. It's really good for the price that you pay. So I mean if you're looking, like I said, if you're looking for a starter camera, this is definitely where you want to go. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel as well as don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Bofina1. That's B-O-F-I-N-A-1 and on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Bofina1 and on Facebook at Bofina1. And I'll leave a link to all three of those channels down below in the description box. And let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section would this be a camera that you'd be interested in buying you know especially if it's a if it's for your starter camera not for your camera that you want to you know you want to become a professional vlogger is this something that you'd be interested in looking at you know did you enjoy this review did you find it helpful did you not find it helpful would you like me to go more in depth so you know let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section and i hope you guys have a good rest of your day peace fin army